I thought I would show you how I have stored and organized all my kitchen um, food and utensils, plates, things like that. So I recently moved about two months ago to the current house I am in right now. It is a 1960s house and it has um, a pretty nice sized kitchen for um, about a thousand square foot main level house. So it's going to be a two part video. So this is part one. I didn't want to make it like 25 minutes long for you. So I'm going to show you today half of my kitchen and then show you the other half on part two. So um, if you're new to my channel, uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, this I am Davy Killian and my channel's name is Davy K, hence the name. So I do things on organizing, cleaning, I vlog, I do some cooking videos, um, lifestyle videos, hauls. So definitely check out my channel, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And I'm going to go ahead and start for you with some of my um, decor organization that I have first in the kitchen. So right up here on these shelves, right there as you can see, I have just some of my decorative uh, milk glass and turquoise teapot. We do store our keys in here, so um, that's a good place for those. Uh, and then there's my counter there, boom, boom, boom. So we have this little crate. That's a new idea for me right now to have this crate up here. I don't know how I like it, but it's an old Dr. Pepper crate. It says Dr. Pepper there. Um, just kind of put a few things up there. I did have it left open, but I don't know. If you like it, let me know. Uh, okay, moving on down. Right here, I have a little bit more of that older shelving. So I have a little teapot and like a creamer set. And then here, I don't really know how I like this that much right now. Just an empty basket that probably really doesn't need to be there. I kind of left my pine cones up from Christmas and the wreath I got in one of my $5 Goodwill challenges. And then here is where we keep some of our mail, a few more keys, like stamps, stuff like that. And over in the corner we have some more mail that is just things we need to keep on hand to look at um, in the future. So we don't have a great mail system right now. I need to figure out uh, my kitchen command center a little bit better. It's not the best right now. So um, since I'm down here, I'll just start with this cupboard right here. The top cupboard is kind of match, match cupboard. I used a silverware holder to hold some of my items. So on the back, I have a notepad and a pen if I need to they jot something down. Here, we just have a utility knife, um, can opener, and a lemon, or melon baller, sorry, not a lemon baller. Um, a few other items I don't use as much. These are like my more infrequently used items. A small grater, um, my garlic press, pizza, cutter, stuff like that. This is just my lighter and then my husband's filet knife. Here I have some, I have a lot of ice cream scoops. I just got this one for Christmas, you know. Um, I should probably do a kitchen declutter, but it's hard for me to get rid of things when we've been married two and a half years. And um, I have a few duplicates, but not that much. So, all right. And then just a chip clip. These are awesome if you need, it's for toast. It's a wooden little tong, so pampered chef, as you can see. And then just a lid opener, and this is my Pioneer mail opener, letter opener, I really like that. And then I just have a few labels there that I need to put on some of my boxes I have. All right in here, my egg slicer, then my pastry blender, and this apple core. I forgot I had that even. Wow. And I got that for 25 cents at a garage sale. And this is awesome. This turns my Christmas lights on and off. Out the side. Um, and I just have a rubber brand on there for some reason. So I do like that I have my separate categories. I got this container at a thrift store. Alright, I'm going to move down for you. Next one, well, as you can tell, I have way too many dishcloths. So this is where I keep all my towels. And I probably only get through two before I wash them. Um, and then some dishcloths. Now I just got these for Christmas. I haven't even opened them, but they're supposed to help 
for not stinking. And I also use a Norwex cloth that really works well. So plug for Norwex there. Anyways, this is where I store all my towels. I got that. My camera just started real quick. But while I'm in here, I got rid of a couple towels that I realized I didn't even use. So that is the second drawer. The third drawer down is my um, plastic storage, like my rolling pin, pastry mat, and then I also store my napkins in this Dollar Tree basket. So that's really handy to have. Um, oh, and if I had teeny little guys back here, I put those in there. Now you probably noticed I have some contact paper. When we bought the house, it took me almost a day and a half to rip off all the nasty old floral contact paper and put some new stuff on. So all my drawers and cupboards, I have new stuff. And then here I have my hot pads and a tablecloth. And then this is a weird place, but I have a big glass bowl here. I just didn't know where to put it right now. So anyways, there it is with um, probably too many of these. I even got rid of some of these before we moved my hot pads, but I really like these ones. They're really nice. So, sorry my dog is whining because she hears me talking. All right, moving on up. Over right here. This is one of my favorite drawers that I, um, I just leave them organized like this all the time. I do not ever really um, have it unorganized. And I have non-slip paper, so I can like strip out and slam it and it won't move. So in here I have just some of my smaller kitchen utensils and then I love these rubber spatulas and um, the pizza cutter I got from my mom. This knife block, a really big knife, and these silicone baking cups. And then look at that, one, two, three, this is a coffee scoop, but three measuring cups, uh, teaspoon and tablespoons. I probably don't need that many. I have two measuring cup sets there. But I really like it, and I do have the storage for it. I'll do this one before I get down to the cupboards there. All right, so this is my silverware drawer. Um, insert in the back. Here I have my spiralizer. See, I have lots of extra space. And here I just have some older silverware, so stuff I take to school. Some chip steps. Here is my immersion. My little coffee blender. Frother, that's the word. It's coffee frother, milk frother. Um, some of these little scrapers, I could also probably go through and get rid of some of that. So more chip clips. Um, I got this for a wedding, and I don't know if I know what it is. So, I really don't. Juice extractor. There we go. Read it. That help. But I've never used it, so I should probably get rid of that. And then my silverware and my silverware organizer. Alright, down here it might be a tad bit dark, so I apologize for that. Um, so I got these wire racks at a dollar store, I believe. So I just have some of my baking pots there. And I love it that I can just pull that out and see everything that I have up there. And then casserole dishes and my pie plates are in the back right there. So I really like how I have this organized too. And then up here I used a lid rack for my Tupperware storage and then um, in the back there, these are so deep, I have some bigger Tupperware storage and glass um, baking dishes. I don't use those very often so that's why they're back there. So um, and then it's very very deep in the back and I do have a couple pots back there that I rarely use but I use them every like twice a year if I use them when I have a lot of people over. And then down here. I use these a lot more, so I really like how I can see everything, and I do put the lids with them, um, just to keep it organized that way. And then it's huge, back there, this, um, Paper Chef, like, rock baking dish. So, that is my pot, and bigger casserole dish, and Tupperware storage right there. Alright, I'll move on up for ya. Okay, so up here... Voila, is my Tupperware and glass storage. So I have different contact paper here, but I didn't really care. <laughs> it kind of matched anyways. So I have been wanting to go to glass. So I store all my glass here. I do use some plastic every once in a while. Um, so I have that in this dollar store basket too. I think it was like two for one this summer. 
Um, here are how I store my lids. So some of my bigger lids I put in this. Um, and then I also had this that I got at a dollar store and don't use very often. So I store my smaller ones in the front half, bigger ones in the back half. And then look at, see I have all this open space. This is a random place for a cheese grater. And then this, I really do like that. How um, this stores some of the other lids as well. So um, I know what lids these go to. They're more of the plastic and these lids go to the glass. So that's how I have that stored. And then up top is just some extra glass storage. And then I love this because every morning I gotta take all my pills. So get it down. And I just have all my pills that I take and my veggie capsules um, that I have from Young Living, as well as up here I have this for like emergency office cells who are getting sick, drink, stuff like that. My prescription that I have for having my sinus infection right now, um, so spare toothpicks. So I really like these. I got these for 75 cents at my local thrift store. But I'll just show you how that looks. Right there. All right, I'm gonna move on over for you. Now, I'm telling you, I'm keeping this real. I didn't rearrange do anything like that. All right, so over here is my coffee tea cupboard. So I'm in this every morning. All right, so I'm gonna start at the top this time. I have some extra tea cups and things like that, like decorative in the back. My coffee beans here, I use those every day. This basket I got from like Family Dollar, I think. So. In here is my husband's. He got um, mate tea from Paraguay when he went, and he got a lot of it. So we have a lot of that. Um, haven't used it a whole lot, so there you go. Yerba mate. Anyways, I just store that up there. And then I have my butter dish, and right here, I use these pretty regularly too. I just pull out my lids so for all my mason jars that you'll see that I have all right then the next shelf if I have guests they can like, choose apple cider or coffee little packets or hot chocolate in these little packets and I got this at a garage sale um, got this last Christmas it has some tea varieties my herbal teas um, iced black teas in this my mom gave me this for Christmas, a mystic chai, but this is basically for guests too. And my travel mugs I have here, and then I just have an extra glass over there. Alright, next shelf down, I store my stevia packets in these little glass jars. Again, garage sale. Um, and then all my guests can pick their mug. These were from the dollar store, by the way. My husband's like, yes, now I won't spill because it's so big. And the rest of my mugs back there. I'm um, also in kids or my husband too wants any flavor packets they're there glass leftover peanut butter jar that I reuse for straws and then my coffee grinder my coffee grinder didn't fit up top so that is why it is there but here is my coffee tea station pretty much because my coffee pot's right there so voila all right I'm gonna move over to the dishes and that will be the end of part one's video. Okay, so here in this corner cupboard is where I store my dishes. Um, I have some dishes in the dishwasher. We had guests last night, and this typically goes over there. But I just have my little snack bowls, oatmeal bowls here, bigger glass bowls. This tiered tray, that was an awesome find at a thrift store. I love it. Sorry, my dog's going off again. Um, I normally have my big glass measuring cup here. I have some plastic ones back there. I don't use those very often. My big glass bowls here. My liquid measuring cup there. And we don't drink, but um, my husband has that big beer mug for some reason. Anyways, then up top, this, the previous owner's left. So I said, sure, I'll take it. And some of my more Pyrex snack bowls. And then my um, baking dishes that I can use in the oven if I want with two different sizes. So that is this corner cupboard. And then this is my glass cupboard. So missing some glasses, they're in the dishwasher. There's my juice glasses, my big ones go here. All my mason jars that I have these for smoothies that I use often. And then up top where I store the rest of them when I want storage. So um, also have these fancy little green guys in the back that I was given. 
So that is my glassware. I hope you stick around um, to, and subscribe so you can see part two of my kitchen organization. The next part will be more of the pantry that I have and my bigger items that I store as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful for you, gave you some ideas and tips on how to organize your kitchen as well. So give this thumb, or give this thumb, Here's my thumb, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that big red button for organization and storage videos from Davy K. Alright, have a great day. Bye.